Okay, so today we're talking about iOS 14 and all of the new features and changes that are coming in this latest version from Apple. Now, if you guys are super excited to see iOS 14, definitely leave a like on today's video. Also get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button so you don't miss any future content covering iOS 14, including the betas. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So iOS 14 is becoming a bigger and bigger topic these days, just because we're almost at the end of the iOS 13 life cycle. We're even seeing iOS 13.4 betas coming out very, very slowly here, but without any new features or major changes. So that leads us to believe that Apple is focusing more on the new features and changes in iOS 14 rather than in the kind of later stages here of iOS 13. So what are these new features and changes going to be? Well, the first major one is going to be a brand new UI. Now, before iOS 13 was even released, Apple did promise us that iOS 14 actually would be receiving the biggest UI design change ever. So with that design change, what are we really expecting? Well, first of all, we do expect Apple to redesign their default icons. Obviously, we've been kind of stuck with very similar designs for the past couple of years, but with this kind of big UI design change, we are expecting the icons to be changed and kind of match the overall theme of iOS 14. Now, something I have to add about these new new icons is right now with dark mode, icons don't really change. And if you're on the home screen, you can't really tell that dark mode is activated fully. So with this UI change in iOS 14 coming, I would really like to see icons changing from light to dark mode when the theme is activated or deactivated. So in light mode, we have the standard icons, the standard white, very bright icons. But when we switch over to dark mode, we kind of switch switch to darker icons so it's not a strain on your eyes when you're in dark mode at nighttime and you're looking at your home screen. So that would be a really cool addition to dark mode specifically with icons integrated into that feature and I would really love to see kind of dark theme icons from Apple. So the next big thing is a new color UI and also a Siri UI. Currently when you activate Siri or when you're getting a phone call, it's very intrusive. It kind of takes up the entire screen and you're unable to continue on with your work or do anything else. Of course you can exit out of that, but it, that takes just a few seconds to do. And it's just a big and tiresome process that people don't want to handle. So people have been asking for years now for a new color screen UI and also a new Siri UI. And I think Apple is going to deliver with iOS 14 with this big redesign of the entire UI of iOS 14. Now, another thing that we should be seeing is a redesigned keyboard. Every time Apple does a major UI change, the keyboard is affected in some way. I'd love to see added functionality with the keyboard in iOS 14. A lot of users are complaining that it's very hard to get uh, to like GIFs or um, Animoji, Memoji. It's just kind of a difficult process and it could be made easier if Apple redesigned their keyboard. So definitely expect a keyboard redesign along with maybe a messages app redesign as well in iOS 14. Now, one thing that Apple has been rumored to be working on is split view or multitasking for iOS uh, being brought to the iPhone. Now, this is a major kind of feature when it comes to productivity on the iPhone, because obviously we've seen this in iPad OS. There's split view, there's multitasking, we can drag and drop files from one app to the other. That is a really productive workflow that is only capable on the iPad. Now, this would be awesome to come to the iPhone because as I said before, we're getting more real estate on the iPhone. It would be really nice to use my iPhone as my primary device for everything. If I'm like on the go and I want to use my iPhone to maybe uh, kind of change some documents or drag and drop some documents into other ones, it would be really nice to make those small changes on the go without having to take around my iPad. So hopefully this is going to be released in iOS 14. As I said, Apple's already rumored to be working on this. So hopefully we do see that in iOS 14 this coming June. Now, there's one more thing in regards to the UI changes that we should be seeing from Apple. And this is something that I haven't heard any news whatsoever about. Apple doesn't seem to be working on it, but it's the ability to place apps anywhere. This seems really simple. Apple has already expanded the ability to delete apps very quickly. They've kind of expanded the ability um, of the actual user on the home screen quite a bit with their 3D touch menus or their force touch menus, whatever you wanna call them. They're actually doing a really fantastic job with that. I wish Apple would just 
push the mold just a little bit more and allow us to place apps anywhere. It would be one of those cherry on top features with iOS 14 that I think a lot of users would enjoy. But that is the UI changes that we should be seeing. Let's move on to some of the other features that we should be seeing in iOS 14, and that is spam call detection. Spam call detection was said to be uh, coming in iOS 13. Apple did promise us that in iOS 13, we'd be seeing some form of spam call detection, but with iOS 13.4 betas uh, being released now, beta one and beta two, and not seeing that new feature, I'm not going to continue holding my breath for that feature coming in iOS 13. I think it's one of those features that is taking way too long for development and is just going to be pushed into iOS 14 as one of the more premier features of iOS 14. So hopefully we do see spam call detection come in the early betas of iOS 14 and of course in the official release because this is a feature that people desperately need these days. There's so many spam calls going around and iOS users are actually the ones that are affected the most just because there's no spam call or no native spam call detection from Apple. If you go over to Google, Samsung, they have their own spam call detection and it works almost flawlessly. So that would be really nice to have here on our iPhones in 2020. Okay, so next up is the ability to set default apps. And this basically means that if I use Google Chrome on a daily basis on my iPhone, I can actually set that as my default browser over Safari. So this means that if I went to Instagram or any other app and basically opened a link, that the link would open in Google Chrome instead of Safari on iOS. This has been a long requested feature by a lot of users simply because a lot of users may like Google Chrome over Safari. It may have more features. So this would be really nice to have in iOS 14. This would also go for like music apps like Spotify. So if I have a subscription to Spotify and I don't necessarily use Apple Music, Siri would open up Spotify music versus opening up Apple's default app, which is their own music app. So this would be a really expansive feature. It would push app developers to create even better apps. And I think Apple should definitely go in that direction because setting default apps would create a better uh, kind of user experience so that users could select which apps they wanna use on their iPhone, iPad, whatever device they're using. Now, another feature that I wanted to talk about is the FaceTime eye correction feature. FaceTime eye correction feature first came to us in iOS 13 betas. It was actually taken out because it was just too buggy and Apple was having a lot of problems. They said it would be coming back, but we've actually never seen it in any other betas or releases of iOS 13. Now, as I said, iOS 13.4 is kind of the last uh, version of iOS 13 that we're going to see this year. And since Apple is kind of phasing iOS 13 out and we haven't seen that feature yet, it only makes sense that that will be coming in iOS 14. So in the first couple of iOS 14 betas, I do expect to see FaceTime eye correction feature coming within those betas. And it's probably going to be Apple's one of the more premier features of iOS 14, just because that was a feature that a lot of people loved in the iOS 13 betas. Now, lastly, I wanted to talk about the health app and kind of the expansion of the health app. Every year, Apple focuses more and more on users' health. And I think the health app will get a little bit more of expansion, specifically with like apps like the Breathe app, we might be seeing an official like kind of Breathe app within the health app, uh, just because it's only available on the Apple Watch, but there's no interface on the uh, kind of like iPhone. Now, if users don't have a, an Apple Watch and they still want to participate in breathing exercises, that would be something like having a native Breathe app within the health app would be useful in that case. So I do expect kind of more expansion of the health app, more ability uh, to kind of maybe enter into research projects or anything like that within the health app. And I fully expect kind of like more expansive features to be coming to that app because Apple always, always focuses on health and how they can make the user experience better on iOS in reference to health. So guys, those were just a few things that we might be seeing from iOS 14. Obviously a long awaited release by Apple, just because they did say a few years back that this would be the biggest user interface change that they have ever made to iOS. So with that being said, I definitely want to know your opinion. What are your thoughts on Apple going all out on iOS 14. What new features and changes do you want to see? 
Let's get the conversation started in the comment section down below. I'd love to know your thoughts and I'd love to kind of conversate with you guys on what Apple could be doing and planning for iOS 14 because this is such a major release. But anyways, guys, I thank you all for watching this video. If you definitely want to keep up with all iOS 14 content, leave a like on today's video. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button. That's super important. That will give you updates anytime we release any future content. So again, guys, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll be catching you guys in some upcoming content.